do I have everything? Oh my gosh, oh, where, where's my bow? Where's my bow? And Oh, I'm so nervous. Where was I supposed to go? Oh, hello. So nice to see you all out there. Oh, forgive my manners. Clarence Cupid here, capital C, capital C, and I'm proud of it. Yes, capital C, now that I am a Cupid. Oh, but it wasn't always like that. There was a time when I was apprentice to the master. Oh, the honor it was to work with the master. Oh, but let me tell you, he was one picky boss. Every day when we came in for training, everything had to look just right. Our hair had to be all in curls. Our wings had to be immaculately combed. And our feet, no shoes. Oh, I had the hardest time with that. Because you see, my feet, they're so sensitive. I get blisters just walking around on the clouds. But the boss said, no shoes. There was something he would talk about, a Renaissance painter that he knew a long time ago, and all kinds of stuff, but I really didn't know what he was talking about. And so I said, OK, OK, I'll do it. No shoes. Well, when we began as an apprentice, we were given a wooden bow and told, go out and find a whale to practice on. Oh, let me tell you, they were so easy to hit. Oh, and we loved to dance in amongst all the water droplets as they fell from their flukes and flippers, as they would hurl themselves out of the water and splash down, all to show off for the girls. Oh. My goodness, they would ripple that water. And the more they would ripple the water, the more the women would get excited. And it was our job to take and make sure we persuaded them for when they got close together, well, uh, you know. Then when we graduated from whales, we went on to bears and moose and fish, but we knew we were getting close to our final goal when we were told we could practice on birds. Oh, the boys would dress up in their finest feathers just to persuade the ladies. And again, it was our job to make sure they said yes. Oh, the hummingbirds, they were so hard to hit. But once we got those two together, oh, we knew we had graduated on two people. Some people are so easy to hit. They have giant, wonderfully big hearts. And other people have like a force field around them that nobody and nothing can get into. But thank goodness, I didn't have to deal with that. We had had a couple on the radar for a while. Oh, there was a lot of laughter and smiles between them. And things were going pretty good. And it was going pretty good for me, too. Because you see, I was just about ready to get my Cupid's bow. Oh. The golden bow, that was the one to have. But it only could be gotten by a Cupid's apprentice shooting the arrow on February 14th. Any other day, just a silver bow. As I was saying, everything was going great. 
everything was set. I was so nervous. I looked at my watch. It was February 14th. Oh, just perfect. I saw Don coming up the stairs, and I heard Kathy coming to the door. I readied myself at the railing, and I sent the arrow, sending off straight and true. Oh, I knew it had hit the spot when there was a beautiful glow around her face and the, her eyes twinkled with the light of a thousand stars as she gazed upon Don. Ah, true love, how magnificent it feels, even for us. Ah, yes, the energy rippled out from both of them like ripples in a pond, and even my little toes turned pink. Now I understood why the boss had said, no shoes. I was so excited, I flew back to headquarters to tell them firsthand. But when I got there, there was a look on the boss's face. He was mad. And when I got into the control room, I looked up and saw it was only February 12th. How, how? And then we heard laughter in the back of the room. Mr. C knew there was something up. And after he had gotten in and talked with all the other apprentices in my group, the truth came out that they had changed my watch just to have a little fun with me. Well, let me tell you, Mr. C wasn't laughing. He took and put them all on cloud washing duty for a week. And as for me, well, I got the Silver Bowl. And soon after that, I got the Golden Bowl. And yes, I still have that wooden bow as a memento of their true love. Oh, you want to know why I was so nervous and upset when we first met? Well, even though I've been Cupid for 15 years now, I now have apprentices. And so I have to, excuse me, I have to go find what they're doing, hopefully something good. It is about February 14th.